Hello, my lovelies, and welcome back. I'm Taylor, and this is Disney Dreamlight Valley. Today, I'll share my top five design tips and how I used them in my plaza build. Stick around till the end for a bonus tip. Tip number one, be a thief. Okay, not really. But if you have an idea that you aren't sure how to implement, you can find inspiration on Pinterest or Google to spark your creativity. Creating a mood board for your theme also helps. Other people's ideas are a great place to start. Make them your own. That's what I did here for Chez Remy to recreate a Paris street cafe. Tip number two, tell them where to look. Think of your build like a painting. You can guide the eye using line and repetition. Here, I'm using the straight lines of the path to draw the eye from one end of the plaza to the other. Tip number three, make a scene. No, not that kind of scene. When you're designing your next build, think of yourself as a movie director. You want each scene in your build to tell a story. Little details like this child's popsicle on the ground are visual cues that help tell your story without being expensive. Tip number four, get a room. Try to think of each scene you create with your build as a room to decorate. Then provide a place to sit and hang out in each section. These flowers and bushes provide a nice frame for the fountain, and if you place enough of them, they stop spawning in the rest of the area. Tip number five, get good at being imperfect. Don't let perfection paralyze you. If something doesn't line up the way you want, embrace it and find a creative solution. In front of Chez Remy, the chairs aren't lined up perfectly, and this creates the impression that people have been coming and going all day. Scrooge's shop doesn't center on a path leading up to the door, so I placed a sidewalk in front of the building instead. Look for ways to do things differently in your next build. Thanks for sticking around for my bonus tip. A lot of people have been asking about total item count. You can see here the first tree that I placed counts towards it, but the second tree doesn't. This tells me that it's only each unique item that you place that increases your total item count. As for trees, rocks, and underbrush, some count, some don't, but it is early access, so that may change. If there's a further cap, I haven't hit it yet. Everybody, I just want to say thank you so much for all your support and all the views. I'm completely blown away. It means so much. Also, I want to give a big shout out to Ashley Irwin. Thank you for leaving a comment. I hope you're doing really well. I'm sending all the good vibes your way. If you're enjoying my content, check out this playlist for more Disney Dreamlight Valley. See you real soon.